Kaczynski has a very talented comedian, actor, author, and Italian-American whom you can watch get seasick, slapped by his mother, and fillet fish very badly on his new show, Well Done with Sebastian Maniscalco. Season one is on Discovery Plus now. Please welcome Sebastian Maniscalco. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see you. I don't you. know why I see you, I start laughing immediately. <laughs> and I mean okay. that as a compliment, I really do. You're, you. you're back out on the road now, right? Happy to be back out. I was in the house for, what, 412 days. <laughs> and uh, I was making breakfast for my family. And I got so bored, I would, like, set the table the night before, right? <laughs> I got two kids, four and two years old, so I'd put out the high chair, the bib. And by the way, the bib, and you got kids. Uh -huh. When we grew up, we didn't really have a bib. I think my mother just threw a napkin down my shirt, and uh, if it's stuck, it's stuck. But the bib now is like a, there's like a trough. <laughs> that catches food, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> so half of the meal is in the trough, and, uh, you know, I don't waste food, so I just eat the thing right out of the... <laughs> That's how I eat my breakfast. Right <laughs> you got lucky kids. Yeah. <laughs> Are you living in L.A. permanently now? Is this, is this your home? Yeah, I lived here 22 years. Oh, you've lived and... here that long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, we just bought a home before the pandemic, so uh, nothing like making a big purchase and then going unemployed. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> but uh, I, I bought Gwen Stefani's house. And, oh, wow. And I'm not, I'm not bragging, all right? The Starline Tours, I'm on the, I'm on the, I'm on the tour, right? Right. And my nanny took the tour, and they're using Stefani still when they mention the house, right? <laughs> so in my head, I'm like, they probably tried my name, and the whole van went, who? <laughs> and uh, they just went back and said, just use Gwen. You know, it's Stefani's easier to pronounce. Yeah. Absolutely. Wow. Now, this is really, this is something I think particularly special. You've co-written a movie uh, uh, loosely based on your life. Yeah. And your dad in the movie. Yeah. It was your dad in real life being played by Robert De Niro. Yes based on your real dad. Yes. How does dad feel about Robert De Niro playing him in a movie? Dad went down to Oklahoma to spend two days with De Niro, because De Niro wanted to get the essence of my father. Really? Yeah. So my dad doesn't really, my dad's a hairstylist. He don't know anything about the Hollywood. So he goes down there and De Niro's like, how do you wear your hat? How do you wear your chain? What do you do? So my dad is sitting there talking to De Niro, giving him Sicilian sayings to say in the movie. And uh, De Niro's like pressing him, asking him questions. He's like, bring me notes. My dad's like, notes? I thought I was gonna go hang out with him for, you know, 15, 20 minutes. This guy's got me working six hours a night. <laughs> so, uh... <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's surreal to see my father and De Niro like chatting it up over the script. Have they formed a, a real bond of any kind? Yeah, I mean, they, they hung out two days, and then my dad's like, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll see you. And, and De Niro's like, no, we're, we're going to Zoom. And my dad's like, Zoom? <laughs> I, I got to get a salary. Uh, so, no, it's been uh, Does it's your been dad great. feel like he's in show business now? Well, my dad is calling me now going, listen, my client has a son, and uh, you know, could you get him in the movie? <laughs> <laughs> He's, he's calling me with, like, casting options. And I said, just do your perms and, and we'll take care of the cast, you know? <laughs> is he still doing perms? Is that still going this on? This guy is 75 <laughs> years old, and he's, his biceps detached from his shoulders. He can't see, and he's still cutting hair. I get, it's over. You're 75. Put the shears down. Uh, 
But he's gonna die behind the chair. You know, it's just, he's not gonna retire. Well, if he likes it, why not? He probably gets to talk to different people all the time. You know, it's nice. Yeah, no. Takes some pressure off you, probably. Yes, it, yes. it does. You love You it. also have this television show. I've been watching you on this show. You had you experience that would be the same experience that I had. In the first episode of the show, you go out in a boat. There's a great chef named Michael Chimarusti. He's mm -hmm. here in Los Angeles. He goes out and he fishes, and he catches fish, and he cooks them. Mm -hmm. And um, you, uh, well, I'll let you tell the story. You go out in the boat, what happens? So this TV show, I wanted to do things that, uh, or learn things I don't know how to do. I got a young son, he's two years old. And we go fishing, I want to be able to bait the hook and whatnot. I said, all right, let's go on the boat. Now, I know I, I get seasick. I get nauseous on a swing set. So <laughs> we go on this boat, and uh, five minutes into this thing, I'm on the floor, and I'm doing the whole show from the, 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 the ship floor. You are literally laid out, laid out on the boat yeah. for the entirety of the boat ride. Yeah. Guys are fishing, sticking the fish in front of your face. Yeah, they're reeling them in. I'm on the floor going, what did we catch? And uh, <laughs> I'm in the bathroom. I'm telling you, when you get seasick, there's really no cure for oh, it. Oh, yeah, no. They it's say the worst. jump in the ocean. Uh-huh. My luck, I jump in the ocean and I get attacked by a shark. So I just stayed on the boat for, for the two hours and, and, and gutted it out. But uh, yeah, it's fun, you know, I, just like you, I'm a big food guy and, uh, and for me to do the show, it kind of spawned out of the pandemic. It's really fun, it's something different than stand-up. You feel, I saw you trying to gut a fish. Uh, do you feel like you've really like learned any skills that you will take um, into your real life? To fillet a fish, that is practice. I, I, I severed the head on the show. Yes, you cut uh, a fish like a mafioso. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a complete beheading. And uh, it's difficult to get a, a knife in there and fillet it. Uh, I, I, ha I, I need practice on a lot of the things that we did, but yeah. uh, it was fun to do. Well, it's great to see you. The show's a lot of fun. The show is called uh, Well Done with Sebastian Maniscalco. Season one is on Discovery Plus now, and season two starts soon, right? Yeah, in November. So, uh, yeah, it's been great, and uh, we're having a ball with it. It's great to see you. Good to Give see my you. best to Gwen. I okay. <laughs> Sebastian Maniscalco, everybody. We'll be back with Rufus Wainwright. Thanks for watching. If you liked that video, click the subscribe button. And if you didn't like it, well, you hurt my feelings. <laughs>